A petrol paraffin engine, TVO engine, United Kingdom or gasoline kerosene engine, North America is an old-fashioned type of dual-fuel internal combustion engine with spark ignition designed to start on petrol, gasoline and then to switch to run on paraffin, kerosene once the engine is warm. The grade of paraffin used is known as tractor vaporizing oil in the UK. Topic Advantages The advantages of the petrol paraffin engine are that compared to petrol, paraffin can be cheaper and or more readily available. Being less flammable, paraffin is safer to store. Being less volatile, paraffin is less likely to go stale. In the tank, some of these advantages have become illusory since paraffin, once widely available as a cheap fuel, has become rarer and more expensive, particularly in developed countries. Also, while some older vessels still use marine petrol paraffin engines, most inboard marine engines now tend to be diesels. Topic. Equipment. A petrol paraffin engine differs from a single fuel petrol engine in that two independent fuel tanks containing petrol and paraffin respectively are required, but both fuels may be supplied through the same carburetor or fuel injection system. An example of a fuel injected petrol paraffin engine is the Hesselmann engine. Paraffin is less volatile than petrol, and will not normally ignite at ambient temperatures, so the petrol paraffin engine is started using petrol, and only when the engine has attained a sufficient operating temperature will the engine be switched to paraffin. This switching can be done manually or automatically. Some engines use a vaporizer, which uses heat from the exhaust manifold to vaporize the fuel entering the intake system. Applications Traditional applications Petrol paraffin engines were traditionally found in motor boats, fishing vessels, small tractors, light railway locomotives, and stationary auxiliary engines, but not in cars or motorcycles. The Milnes Daimler motor bus of 1904 based on the Canstadt Daimler lorry, operated in London by Thomas Tilling, ran on either petrol or paraffin, but for starting the engine, or frequent stop-start work, petrol continuously was the preferable option. The airflow from the carburetor was heated by diverted exhaust gas. Design. Petrol paraffin fueling is suitable for four-stroke cycle piston engines and wankel engines. A petrol, paraffin engine tends to run hotter whilst burning paraffin, and so the cooling system must be sufficiently robust. Being slower burning, the paraffin requires the longer combustion period that a four-stroke engine can provide, so two-stroke versions are rare JAP used their 16H engine on TVO. Although modern petrol engines may have compression ratios typically between 9 to 1 and 12 to 1, a petrol paraffin engine requires a lower compression ratio of 8 to 1 or less, to avoid pre-ignition of the fuel-air mixture which would cause damage from engine knocking. Most existing petrol aero engines have low compression ratios, around 8 to 1 or 9 to 1, making a dual fuel conversions viable. Topic. Fuel The fuel used in petrol paraffin engines was known as tractor vaporizing oil TVO in the United Kingdom and as power kerosene in Australia. TVO was withdrawn from sale by UK suppliers in 1974 but has been reintroduced by at least one supplier. Uh, 
Topic: <laughs> Naphthalene locomotive. A railway locomotive using solid naphthalene was built by Schneider Crusot in France in 1913. It was a 70 bhp petrol paraffin engine, but using solid naphthalene rather than paraffin, simply as a cheaper fuel. The naphthalene was melted and vaporized by a water jacket, heated by the engine. 